So much has changed with One Horse System in the past 9 to 10 months. Train Road has also made a lot of changes and progress in the areas of adaptive training, machine learning, and AI. So in this video, I'm going to do a little side-by-side -side comparison of these two popular indoor cycling apps, and I will run you through the features, new and old, to get you acquainted what both have to offer as of today. And uh, if you find this video helpful, please take a quick second to hit that like button. It helps the channel and the video quite a bit, and I really appreciate it. Okay. Let's start with Wahoo System. Wahoo System is a full training platform with hundreds of cycling workouts as well as yoga, mental training, strength, swimming, and running to make you a well-rounded athlete. Wahoo System uses its four-dimensional power profile or 4DP to account for how individual athletes produce power across a range of duration and intensities because not every athlete responds to training the same way. Their workouts are scaled to your individual 4DP power, which is determined by doing the full frontal FTP test. Train Road is also a full training platform for cyclists and triathletes. Their training platform was designed with self-trained cyclists in mind and incorporated many advanced elements in their training platform to help cyclists plan out their season with structured training plans. Both platforms support structured training plans tailored to your functional threshold power or FTP. However, both apps have slightly different ways of estimating and establishing FTP and training zones. Wahoo system workouts are tailored to your four dimensional power profile and use four key performance metrics, neuromuscular power, maximal aerobic power, functional threshold power, and anaerobic capacity. System has two different tests available that estimate these values for you. The full frontal, which is a 20 minute FTP test that estimates your performance and creates comprehensive four dimensional power profile for you, assigns you a rider type and personalizes the power targets in your workouts. The second type of FTP test is called the half Monty. The half Monty is a slightly different test that estimates your functional threshold value by taking your best one minute power from the ramp section and combine that with the results of the 20 minute heart rate sustained effort to derive your functional threshold power and maximal aerobic power. Once your 4DP values are established, your workouts will be tailored to your four dimensional power profile. Train Road on the other hand has the standard 20 minute FTP, eight minute FTP test and the RAM test. All of these tests are designed to assess your functional threshold value. The RAM test is now what trainer uses as a standard test across their training plans. And Train Road also recently implemented an AI FTP detection. That is my kind of FTP test. Basically, Train Road analyzes your training progress, relative strength and weaknesses, previous experience, recent workouts, and many other factors to estimate your FTP without having you do an FTP test. So the next time you have an FTP test on the calendar, it will ask you if you want the, their AI to take a guess at your FTP or if you just want to do the FTP test and see what you can do. And before you jump on here and comment about which FTP test is correct, just remember both platforms estimate your FTP. And even though the estimated FTP number might be very close between the different tests for some athletes, my advice is to use the test in the app you decide to use. So if you want to use system for training, then use Wahoo system FTP test results. If you decide to use Trainer Road, use Trainer Road FTP test results. The idea behind systems for DP is to account for variabilities between different athletes. No two athletes are the same. And just because two might have the exact FTP value, one might be better at short efforts while the other one is better at longer sustained efforts. And depending on their goals, one might need a different plan than the other to get them basically to the same destination. So workouts and system are tailored to your 4DP power profile as you see in the color profile for each workout. Trainer Road tailors workout to your FTP value only and training zones are then derived from your FTP value. System cycling workouts are categorized into different channels. The Sufferfest, which are the legendary workouts that started this whole platform. These are workouts with video footage, music, 
and a storyline with some humor thrown in. GCN, which are Peloton style workouts with an instructor, inspiration workouts, which are cycling focused documentaries and short films paired with a structured endurance and recovery workouts. A week with, which is a week with certain cycling celebrities or coaches with some behind the scene footage, pro rides, these are fun and challenging workouts that lets you experience what it's like to be in the middle of a pro peloton. Nicely done there, this is excellent stuff. You're looking really strong on there. You keep going. Wahoo combined onboard camera footage with real power data scale to your 4DP profile to give you an immersive experience. On location rides, think of it as guided scenic rides around some iconic location, but with a workout. Then no vid workouts, which are basically workouts without a video. Trend Road offers a large library of workouts and all straight to the point, Trend Road workouts are not paired to any video or any type of entertainment, so you will just have to come up with your own entertainment. You can filter workouts in Trend Road by target FTP, difficulty level, duration, etc. A lot of their workouts come with on-screen text instructions to guide you through the workout. Both apps give you the ability to take all these workouts and put them in a structured plan to guide you through your season as you build to a target goal or a race. System will ask you a number of questions to learn a little bit more about your experience, your cycling discipline, the total hours you have available to train, the progression type you prefer, race goal, and race date if you are training for a race. And then system will build a custom plan for you. You can even add strength training, yoga, and mental training to your plan. System is not adaptive. So if you miss a day of training or you are not able to do a workout as prescribed, system won't adapt the plan based on your recent performance. So you will have to make these adjustments yourself. Train Road made a lot of progress in the past couple of years, particularly around adaptive training. Trend Road offers a plan builder that is super easy to follow and it allows you to build a custom plan that is based on your target discipline, goals, and experience. You can set how many hours you want to train per week, input your desired training volume, your level of experience, whether you are a beginner, advanced, or an expert and have been following structured training for years. You can also add plan time off and their training plan will make adjustments to your plan accordingly. You can even get specific and set what days of the week you want to train. For example, I like to do my rides on Tuesdays and Thursdays and on the weekends and swim on Mondays and Fridays. So I can set that ahead of time. If you want to even be more specific, you can customize your workout days for each phase of the plan as your longer rides gets longer. So it's pretty powerful and very intuitive and just very easy to use. Train Road's adaptive training uses machine learning to monitor your workouts and offer intelligent adjustments throughout your training. So if you miss a day or don't finish a workout as prescribed, Train Road will make adjustments to your training plan. If on a whim you decide to sign up for a race or go on vacation, you can simply add it to your training plan calendar and Train Road will make adjustments to your plan. I want to talk about the workout player itself and the differences between the two. After all, that's where you will be spending the majority of your time, so let's talk about it. So we'll take a look at the iPad as an example. System workout player will show you the workout and the interval down at the bottom with metrics you can easily customize which metrics you want displayed in the settings and toggle off the metrics you do not want to be displayed you can even customize the font size and remove the video altogether if you want the devices tab will show you which devices are paired and you can switch between smart and virtual watts if you happen to have a classic trainer you can switch between erg mode and level mode easily under settings under setting you can set the ride intensity and adjust the 4DP metrics individually. You also have the option not to change recovery section as you change the intensity of the workout, which is nice to have as an option. On trainer road, you will see the workout graph at the bottom and on top, you will see all the different metrics. During warm-up, you can extend the warm-up by using the extend warm-up option, which is a feature I always use because generally warm-ups in trainer road workouts are very short Unfortunately, Wahoo system does not offer extending a warm-up option. If you tap your heart rate graph, you can hide your heart rate if you do not want to see your heart rate. 
if you swipe to the left you will see additional metrics such as interval specific averages which is something most other players like to display for some reason and i really don't understand why other applications don't display this information right below the workout graph there is an intensity button that gives you the ability to adjust the intensity of the workout next to it you will find devices this is where you can control which devices you want to pair to also here you can switch between erg and resistance mode if you switch to resistance mode you will have the slider to control resistance which is probably not the best design choice i would have rather had a plus minus bonds to increase decrease resistance instead of a slider i find the slider to be very difficult to control particularly when you are in the middle of an interval and you can barely concentrate and on anything else and also your hands will be sweaty so it will be hard to precisely move like if you want to just move at one point you will find it difficult to to play with i believe this is one area train road and wahoo system can do better switching between erg mode and level mode or resistance mode requires navigating many steps to perform a simple task that should have been right there at the workout screen it's a little better in Wahoo system, but in Trainer Road, it takes one, two, three, four steps to change between Eric mode and resistance mode. I think Zwift did a much better job implementing this with an easy erg on off button right there on the main page of the companion app. Moving on. Train Road supports power match where you can use a power meter as your power source instead of the power measurement from your trainer. This is helpful if your power meter and trainer don't see eye to eye and measure power differently. Wahoo system unfortunately does not support power match. Wahoo system workouts are available within the app and within the app only. If you want to ride outside, you cannot take the workout outside with you. Also, system does not give you the ability to build your own workouts or sync workouts from a third party app. So if for example, you have a workout in Training Peaks that you or your coach created, you won't be able to send it to system. That's not the case with Trainer Road. Trainer Road gives you the ability to send your workout of the day to a Garmin Edge or Wahoo Element by computer. So you can simply switch your workout of the day to outside workout and Trainer Road will send that workout to your head unit and you should be able to execute that workout outside. Also, Trainer Road gives you the ability to build your own workout using their workout builder, which is a different application that you need to download but also allows you to import workouts from third-party applications such as Training Peaks, Final Surge, and TriDot. Train Road is $19.95 per month or $189.95 per year. They do offer a 30-day money-back guarantee if you are not happy with them for any reason, or you can just try them out for free for seven days. Wahoo System is part of Wahoo X, which is $15 per month subscription or $129 per year. They also offer a 14 days uh, free trial. And with Wahoo X, you also get full access to RGT Cycling, which is another virtual cycling app. I talked about it in more depth in this video, and I'll leave a link to it in the description as well, so make sure to check that one out. Both of these apps are available for Windows, Mac OS, iOS, and Android both support Bluetooth and ANT plus and practically support every smart bike or smart trainer that supports these communication protocols. Both apps also support Wahoo Direct Connect. So let me know which one is your favorite app and if you use either one, let me know what you think. Let's chat in the comment. Hope you find this video helpful. Remember to hit the like button and if you are still watching and have not subscribed yet, then you know what to do. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next video.